The judges have had a monumental task in evaluating each submission. They considered every entry according to three criteria, innovation creativity, capacity for commercialization, and social impact. Every company exhibiting today has or will receive a certificate of innovation. Those who have yet to receive their certificates from the master see me afterwards and we'll have a photograph taken, but I think most of you are already covered. Uh, we do thank you all for entering this program and congratulate you all on receiving your certificate of innovation. As well as selecting the prestigious Innovator of the Year, for the first time in this program, the judges have made six category awards, which emphasize not only the wide variety of activities on the, our industry base, but also the many different interpretations of what innovation and creativity mean to us all. These categories are manufacturing, digital technology application, creative communication, retail product design, social development, and business development. So those six awards plus the Innovator of the Year Award will be announced in the next few minutes. And I would like now to thank, uh, to invite Peter to say a few words and share with us his thoughts on innovation and creativity in the communications and content industries and his general observations about the entries that we have received this year. Peter. Thank you, Tony. I'll be very brief. It was, of course, Thomas Edison, the co-inventor of the light bulb, along with uh, Sir Joseph Swan of Britain, who gave us the most famous definition of the act of invention. 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. Highly topical, as it turns out. <laughs> a reminder of when it comes to innovation, the light bulb moment is just the start of a laborious process of getting the ideas into production and then into the marketplace. And there's another truth to be got from the story of the light bulb. Both the American and the British inventor were actually using principles that had been around for decades. Swan's bulb used a paper filament in an imperfectly created vacuum that lasted about 13 and a half hours. Edison's filament was made from bamboo. His vacuum was uh, more long-lasting. His bulbs lasted for 1,200 hours. Swan sued Edison. And as part of the court settlement, he was eventually made a partner in the American company. Invention, in other words, is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration, and another 100% collaboration, often across continents and legal systems. That, anyway, is one of the themes of the ideas we, the jury, encountered at this year's Innovation Awards, without, I hope, the litigation. The other <laughs> light, bulb, light bulb element is patentability, but that's quite another story. Back to you, Tony. Well, we finally come to the awards, the presentation of the awards, and I will announce the awards in turn, give an explanation of the judges thinking about that award-winning entry, and then invite a representative from that company to the stage to receive their award and be interviewed for a couple of minutes by Peter Day.